If you're confused to choose in between so many specializations which exist today in chemistry, then this video is for you. Now, I'm going to give you a decision framework, but before that, let's look at what kind of specializations we all can have in this field. Now, as soon as you get into chemistry, you uh, get introduced to organic chemistry, inorganic chemistry, analytical chemistry, physical chemistry, biochemistry, computational chemistry, industrial chemistry, green chemistry, environmental chemistry, and much more, right? Now, the question to be asked is, which one should you choose? Now, it will purely depend on what kind of lifestyle you want in the future, okay? Now, if you want, or you like, or you are passionate about any of these, let me know in the comment section which one you are passionate about so that I can make a specialized video for that. But for now, let me give you a map. If you want to get into academic and research, go for physical, organic, or theoretical chemistry. If you want to get into the pharma and biotech, then go for organic, biochemistry, and analytical chemistry. If you want to get into chemical industry, then go for inorganic, industrial chemistry, or process chemistry. If you want to get into environmental, green chemistry, and sustainability, then go for environmental chemistry or green chemistry. If you want to get into high-tech material sciences chemistry, then you go for nanochemistry, polymer chemistry, and solid state chemistry. Apart from that, if you want a high paying job, then go for AIML and data and science in chemistry. And that is where you have to learn computational chemistry and cheminformatics. And that training you get on Prasainika. Now, then we have to understand the future trends because, you know, first you have to identify the passion, then you have to identify the lifestyle you want, and then you have to look at whatever field I'm choosing or I like, will is it having any industry demand and will it have any industry demand in the future, right? So that is where medicinal chemistry and drug chemistry has got a lot of uh, future demand. Computational chemistry has a lot of future demand. AI and drug design has a lot of future demand. Green chemistry, material science and chemistry, chemi chemi chemical biology, interdisciplinary careers has got a lot of demand. Now, the decision framework I'm going to give you is shortlist any three specializations. Let me know in the comment section and then match them with the skills which you have. Whether you like analytical chemistry or experimental chemistry, then evaluate the ROI. What kind of salary potential it is there and what kind of growth and demand it will have in the future. And all of that, I can make a special video if you comment below what you want, okay? And then commit to any one of the specializations which I advise you and that's how you grow in the field of chemistry. All the best.